Hello, welcome back to JD Science Prep. Today we are going to do a quick video relating to uh, C equals N over V and do some practice questions. If this video does help, please like and subscribe. So if you are unfamiliar with the C equals N over V formula, go ahead and watch my previous video on that. But basically we are calculating concentration with moles over volume. So the C is going to equal our concentration N is going to be the variable for moles and V will be the variable for volume. So let's go ahead and dive into number one here. It says calculate the molarity of a solution if 1 point, or 11.5 grams of NaOH or sodium hydroxide was dissolved in 245 milliliters of water. So first off, I'm going to write down my variables. So I have C, I have N and also V. So sometimes in questions you'll uh, you'll see the word molarity. That also means concentration. So we're basically just looking for the concentration of this solution. So first off, I see that we're actually given grams rather than moles. So my first order of business is going to be to uh, convert 11.5 grams of NaOH to moles of NaOH. So let's go ahead and do that. So first off, we'll write down what we know. We have 11.5 grams of sodium hydroxide, and we're gonna need the molar mass of sodium hydroxide. So if you want to pause the video, go ahead and calculate it. If not, I will give you the molar mass right now. So on top, we have one mole of NaOH, and that is equal to 40.00 grams of NaOH. So in order to calculate the um, in order to calculate the moles of NaOH, we're going to go 11.5 divided by 40.00, and what you should get is 0 0.28. 75 moles of NaOH. So we can go ahead and start to fill out our variable list here. We have moles now. We have 0 0.2875 moles of NaOH and we also have we also have the volume. So key thing here is remember when we're doing these calculations I mentioned it in my last video on this topic, but we can't have milliliters. We want to be working with liters. So if we were to convert uh, 245 milliliters to liters, we are going to get 0.245 liters. So we have both of the variables we need. Let's go ahead and throw it into our formula. So we have C equals N over V concentration or molarity equals 0 0.2875 moles of NaOH and that is all over our volume which is 0 0.245 liters and we can go ahead and type that into our calculator for a final answer Taking sig figs into account, it looks like we have three from 11.5 grams and also three from 245 milliliters. So we're gonna round to three significant figures. So we have 0.2875 divided by two, or 0.245. And that is going to give us 1.17, and I'm gonna use the capitalized M for molarity. So the molarity of our final solution is 1.17 moles per liter. All right, moving on to number two. It says to calculate the amount of water you would need if you wanted a 1.2 molar solution using 13 grams of potassium chloride. So again, we have our variables list. We have C, we have N, and we have V. Let's see what we have from our question. So we have 1.2 molar. That's gonna be our molarity or concentration. So I'm gonna go ahead and write that in here. So we have 1.2 moles per liter or molar. And we're also given a mass of potassium chloride. So it looks very similar to our last question where we need to 
find out the moles from mass. So let's go ahead and start that off. We have 13 grams of KCL time sign line. On top, I want to end up with moles of KCL, so that will once again go on top. On the bottom, we will put the molar mass of potassium chloride. So I just looked it up, but it's going to be 74.55 grams per mole of KCL. So again, we can go ahead and type into our calculator 13 grams divided by 74.55. And what you're going to get, and just notice our units do cross out, we're left with moles of KCL. What you do get here is 0 0.1744 moles of KCL, making sure to keep track of our sig figs, or sorry, not our sig figs, um, our units and now we have one more variable so again our moles we have 0 0.1744 moles of KCL now we can go ahead and solve for volume this might require a little bit of manipulation we have C equals N over V but we are solving for volume so how we can man manipulate this First off, we can multiply volume up, volume up, and our next, our next formula will look something like this as volume is crossed off. So now we have volume multiplied by concentration equals moles, and we need one more step here. Let's divide the left side by our concentration as well as our right side. And what you're gonna get as a final formula is our volume equals moles over concentration. I'm just going to scroll over a little bit here. And we can go ahead and use this formula. So we have volume equals our moles, which we figured out. It was 0 0.1744 moles of KCL, and that was over our concentration, which the question gave us. It was 1.2 molar. Finally, we can go ahead and calculate this. So again, we have 0 0.1744 divided by 1.2, and that's gonna give us a volume of 0 0.1453 liters. But let's just take a quick look at significant figures here. Looks like we have two in 1.2 molar and two in 13 grams. So I'm gonna convert this to, or round this to 0 0.15 liters. And another way you can actually look at this if you want to convert to milliliters, you will just multiply by 1,000 and what you should get is 150 milliliters. So that's how much water you're gonna to need to create a 1.2 molar solution with 13 grams of potassium chloride. Okay, let's get into our third and last question. It says to calculate the mass of calcium oxide, you would need in order to make 410 milliliters of a 0 0.80 molar solution. So we have C, we have N, and we have V. So our concentration here, the question gives it to us. We have 0 0.80 molar. We also have the volume. I'm gonna go ahead and convert this straight to liters, which is 0 0.410, actually. 0 0.41 liters, this zero is not significant. And finally, we're gonna find out, we're gonna be finding out moles and then converting moles to mass like the question wants us to. So again, our formula is C equals N over V. We're gonna be solving for moles. So we can count or multiply volume over to the left side. And our formula now is uh, volume multiplied by concentration equals moles, so we can go ahead and put that in. Our volume is 0 
four one liters, our concentration or molarity is 0 0.80 0 molar. And let's go ahead and type that into our calculator. So we have 0 0.41 multiplied by 0 0.8, which gives us 0 0.3. 328 moles of calcium oxide but remember the question asks for mass so we must we must convert our moles of calcium oxide to mass so let's go ahead and do that so we have 0 0.328 moles of CaO time sign line this time our molar mass is going to go on top because we want to end up with grams of calcium oxide. So 56.08 grams, whoops, that's not right. We have 56.08 grams of CaO for every one mole of CaO. Our units will cross out. And we can go ahead and multiply 0.328 by 56.08, which gives us 18.39 grams of CaO. Let's check our sig figs really quick. We have two in our volume, we have two in our molarity. So we are going to round to 18 grams of calcium oxide as our final answer. Okay, folks, that is the video. If it helped, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.